Pasto's Biology, Biology 2115, Human Anatomy and Physiology 2. My email is jpasto at mgc.edu. My website is mgc.edu slash faculty slash jpasto. The cardiac cycle is a heartbeat, and it lasts approximately eight-tenths of a second. The upper part of this graph represents events in the atria, and the lower part events in the ventricles. If the block is shaded, this is systole, and if it's clear, it's diastole. Now what causes these pressure differences? The slight rise, indicated by number one, in atrial pressure is due to atrial systole. The brief bump, indicated by two, is due to ventricular systole pushing back against the valves and the atrioventricular septum, the wall. The gradual rise, indicated by number three, is due to blood flow into the atria Again, remember, fluids flow from high to low. So there's greater pressure in the veins leading to the atria than there is in the atria. Number four represents flow out of the atria due to the difference between atrial and ventricular pressure. Blood is flowing from the atria into the ventricles, and then there's the gradual rise once again. What about ventricular pressure? Ventricular pressure in the first tenths of a second is low. Notice it's less than atrial pressure. And we'll address the difference in pressure in just a moment. There is the small rise in ventricular pressure due to blood flowing into the ventricles from the atria. The sharp rise in ventricular pressure, indicated by number six, is due to ventricular systole. At the peak of ventricular pressure, there's a slight decrease, indicated by number seven, and this is due to blood flow out of the ventricles into the aorta during ventricular systole. The sharp drop in ventricular pressure occurs during ventricular diastole. And then ventricular pressure begins to rise, indicated by number nine, and this is due to blood flow into the ventricles due to the difference in atrial and ventricular pressure. What about the pressure in the aorta? Well, aortic pressure tends to drop from roughly 100 down to roughly 80 due to blood flow in the uh, aorta away from the heart. And then there's a sharp rise in aortic pressure, and this is due to flow into the aorta from the ventricles. Notice, at any point, aortic pressure is slightly less than ventricular pressure. This brief increase in aortic pressure, indicated by number 12, is the dichrotic notch, and this is due to the elastic recoil of the aortic walls. And then, as blood flows through the aorta away from the heart, the pressure in the aorta begins to decrease, indicated by number 13. Notice that aortic pressure tends to fluctuate between 120 and 80. While we're looking at the changes in pressure during the cardiac cycle, we can address the events acting on the valves. Notice in the first tenth of a second, as we mentioned, ventricular pressure is less than atrial pressure. Now remember, the valves tend to open one way. As long as atrial pressure is greater than ventricular pressure, the AV valves open downward, that is, into the, toward the ventricles, and so uh, the pressure difference forces the valves to open. Very quickly, however, ventricular pressure increases above atrial pressure, and that causes these valves to shut. 
as soon as ventricular pressure is greater than aortic pressure, the valves close. Nothing magical about it. These are like one-way trap doors. The difference in pressure in this case closes the valve. So at point A, the AV valve closes. Now, ventricular pressure rises very sharply, but during much of this rise, ventricular pressure is still less than aortic pressure. But at point B, ventricular pressure rises above aortic pressure, and when that happens, the aortic semilunar valve opens. High pressure in the ventricles compared to lower pressure in the aorta. Prior to that point in the cardiac cycle, aortic pressure was greater than ventricular pressure, and the aortic semilunar valve remained closed. During the peak of ventricular pressure, ventricular pressure is still greater than aortic pressure, so blood is flowing out of the ventricles, but a little after the end of ventricular systole, ventricular pressure drops below aortic pressure, indicated by point C. When ventricular pressure decreases below aortic pressure, the pressure difference causes the aortic semilunar valve to close. So, pressure in the ventricles now is decreasing very rapidly and finally at point D, and when that happens, ventricular pressure drops below atrial pressure. The difference in pressure causes the AV valves to open once again and blood flows into the ventricles. Notice that throughout the cardiac cycle, in many cases, the pressure differences are not great, but they are great enough to promote blood flow from one part of the system to another.